Now on the screen we have question number 3 that is what is the nature of cell walls in diatoms? So first of all what is diatoms? What is diatoms? Diatoms are algae. Diatoms are algae. So diatoms are a kind of algae that dwells in glass houses. They are the only organisms with having cell walls made up of transparent opaline silica. If we talk about the nature of cell walls of diatoms, then the cell walls of this diatom algae actually arrange like this and forming a soap-like box. This is the cell wall arranged like this, cell walls of diatoms arranged like this. They are forming a soap box and two overlap overlapping cells. The cell wall of diatoms are actually overlapping on each other and forming two cell like this. These are the two thin cell walls of diatom algae. And this cell wall of diatom is actually made up of silica. As we already have mentioned that these are the only organisms. Diatoms are the only organisms which have cell wall made up of the transparent and opaline silica. So this is the nature of cell wall of diatoms that they are arranged like this. Thus they are forming two overlapping cells and they are made up of silica. So if you want to write then first of all diatoms are algae. Diatoms are algae that dwells in glass houses and they are they are the only organisms they are the only organisms which have cell walls made up of made up of transparent opaline transparent and opaline silica hence they are not destructible also because they are having the cell wall made up of silica so they are not destructible they are non-destructible all right if we talk about the nature of cell wall of diatoms then the cell walls of diatoms forms two overlapping cells overlapping cells like this and the cell wall of diatoms is actually made up of silica it is made up of silica and hence and hence they are non-destructible non-destructible because of the presence of silica in their cell wall they are non-destructible so this is the nature of cell wall of diatoms and diatoms are actually algae and this is the complete solution of question number three